Hello and welcome to another exciting matchup of Echo Arena. I'm Spudnik Cobra and I'm joined by my co-caster, it's me, Ollie, and Hex2906 on analysis, Hammerman Lanzen and casting coordinator Sphinx. Now that's a long intro. So with further no further ado, we're gonna have Reverb versus Boopers. And what do you think about this matchup, Ollie? It's looking like it's gonna be a very exciting matchup indeed. I do believe Reverb have played in Season 2 and I'm not sure about Boopers, I've looked through their roster and it looks like their team is mostly made up of people who have played in Season 2 but the team itself is a Season 3 team. Absolutely and this match will consist of Beast Stands, Crispy 33, Strange Illusion, Reese Pieces, Big Rome 57 on Boopers and New Pro, Seagull and Cyanide. And I will fix the stream title, Reverb versus Boopers. So that should be fixed. And I don't think there are any more problems. Just let me know in chat if there are. But yeah, Ali, uh, being a European caster, he's not... I actually thought this was going to be a European match. It's um, North America. So I was wondering why B-Stands was playing on this team. And then I realized that I was thinking of the wrong region. And with that being said, we're just waiting on these teams to ready up. And we will be with this game in just a second. And it seems that there's a little bit of difficulty with uh, communication between these teams. So casting a match coordinator, Sphinx is going to hop in and notify these teams to ready up. But yeah, I was talking with Ali and these are all new teams to him. So it's very exciting. Well, it's, it's definitely exciting for me to cast some of the new European teams and even cast some of the uh, Australian Oceanic teams. So how, how does that feel for you, Ali? It's very exciting. Uh, like, uh, as you said, I'm I'm not sure what to expect from these teams. It's like I don't know much about these teams, so it's very uh, exciting going into them like with high expectations or but with no expectations. I don't know why I said those two things, but like like I don't know a lot about these teams, so it's just I like it when it comes as a, a surprise to me, and it kind of helps me figure out what teams are actually like up there, like. Uh, the higher teams and more the teams that are still getting used to the VRML scene. Absolutely. And we're again just waiting for these teams to ready up. And I see uh, Wolfo coming through with his Sputnik reel. I'm actually in a, an AI construct uh, created by. No, actually, I shouldn't go into this joke. It might get me into trouble. But no, I'm very much real. And I will drink to that hydrate. I don't know when they added these. Uh, these casters points do you know when they added these ollie i have no idea they even added them in to be honest and uh Lansley coming through with boomer cobra may that die and never see the light of day again that's old stuff Lansen. but with that being said i think boomer cobra is way before uh, ollie's time as well i think that was like season one preseason Probably because I have not heard of Boomer Cobra. <laughs> when you say it like that, it's uh, you gotta say it with a little bit more force, you know. Um, but no, it's definitely Pirate Cobra is a lot better. That was when I had my eye injury, 
and I was out for like four months, three months. Uh, you should always go to your yearly optometrist checkups. Uh, it's a, my PSA for the day. And uh, Echo Holic's coming through saying Pally has added a few new things, like the front row fans too. I haven't seen the front row fans yet. Have you seen that, Ollie? No, I don't think so. All this, a lot of this is new to me. I've not even heard that these things were added. So, new, new information. Well, we're all, we are all learning new things today. Maybe nice. that's only VRML one channel right now. Probably is only VRML channel one. Probably seeing it is, as it is the main channel of VRML. And uh, so with that being said, we've got one team readied up and we are waiting on this other team to ready up. So we're a little bit behind schedule, but we're finally going to start up this match. Let's get into it. This took a little long to start, but we're here now. Yes, we are. And with that being said, it's the start of the first round. It will be Reverb winning the Joust, but quickly losing possession. A clear into the bubble of Reverb and a shot coming through from Boopers. So Boopers will put the first two points on the board, 12 seconds off the clock. Reverb now with the Joust advantage. A very quick and a very clean goal coming from Boopers. Scored by Newpro there to start off the game, putting them Boopers into a two point lead. Echoholic saying that Newpro is a player to watch. Well, I'm definitely watching him. I want to see what he's got. And with that rollout, will be a missed pass opportunity, a clear coming through from Boopers. Reverb looking to grab it in their bubble and in the hands of Reese's pieces. They'll send it up to the ceiling to Strange Illusion. Strange Illusion's gonna find that forward pass into the hands of B stands. So these teams are making some forward progression, looking to put some points on the board is Reverb. B stands now with the pass to Crispy. Crispy passes it back to Strange Illusion on the cloud there. Strange Illusion to the pass to Reese's Pieces and then Reese's Pieces to the pass to Crispy. Just missing the pass, unfortunately. Crispy manages to pick it up though. Just walking it through, sends it over to Reese's Pieces. Just again, missing the pass. A little bit of miscommunication looks like. Sending the this now below the goal to B stands. B stands backing it out again. And Strange Illusion with a cut pass, which will be intercepted by X Ghost, I believe that was. And now with possession will be Reverb. Setting it up to Ness and looking for that shot. Not able to find it as a player from Reverb, but it will be picked up by B stands. B stands trying to get behind that goal and able to find that shot at three meters. So that's a tie game. A minute and 11 second goal time to that one. But it's back and forth in this first round between Reverb and Boopers. So far, it's looking like an even matchup. No dominating team just yet, but we have still plenty of time to go for both teams to try to dominate the other. Seagull now with a disc on the joust. He's just walking up here now, looking for the pass. Just sat on there, Pac Man. Finally sending the pass, the long pass through. Oh, it's his new pro. New pro letting go. Oh, trying to for a shot. Reese's Pieces does pick it up though. Just slowly walking up here now, letting his team get set up. Sending the pass down, but just gets blocked by the block. How ironic. Strange Illusion now sending the pass down to B stands. And B stands trying for the shot, but just misses. Blue team managed to pick that back up now and trying for the clear, but just missing the clear. X Ghost, I believe that was. Sending it through, tries to send it through, just misses. Crispy now with the disc again. Just taking his time, sending the pass over to B stands on the bow tie. And then B stands backs it out to Strange Illusion. So Strange Illusion now with possession, and they're really fighting their passes, taking their time against this Booper's defense. And not being challenged just yet, he's going to inch forward towards the bubble. Player at nest, a player, and able to find that dunk, so B-Stands will get open below the goal and just find that opportunity for another two points. That's putting Reverb in the lead here now by two points. Still a close match and a slow match. I expect this match to be a little faster, but at the same time, high-level teams can go slow as they can go fast. X goes with a pass now to New Pro on the side. New Pro just doing some flips and sending the long pass or the clear. It looks like to be a clear. Picked up by Strange Illusion now. 
sending another clear through trying to go for the tunnel but just misses again new prone out with the disc walking it through sending the pass down over to the boots now just walking it again sending just missing the pass to cyanide and now the disc is loose and the race for the disc begins so with another slap through it will go to seagull and the cameraman is Lanzan, and it's me ollie is joining me on this uh co-cast on this cast he's my co-caster so with that clear through into the bubble will be missed by a player of boopers and be picked up by b stands who will not find another two points so b stands really making all the difference in this first round b stands definitely is playing in the work for his side given the joust revenge now to boopers once again However, they are not out just yet. Just four points behind. They can definitely make it with just over five minutes left on the clock. So with that pass, and we'll be bouncing off the Geo, the backline player will find it. So Siegel able to pick that up, sending it cross court. That pass is not going to be on. It's a scramble for possession at ceiling. And in the hands of Strange Illusion, Strange Illusion will send that pass, but that stun will come through. Another interception and another steal. Some three changes in possession right there. And it will be a stack race and finding it will be B stands throws an interception at mid another clear coming through These teams trying to find possession in the bubble and will go to new pro new pro getting stunned out though and crispy falling up with his own clear A loose is now picked up by Reese's pieces who goes for it looked like a mail slot But just missing it as he gets stunned X goes now with the clear just missing it through the tunnel but managed to pick up by new pro who just looks like he went for the shot but just hit off the top of the tunnel cyanide with another shot and just missing picked up by b stands who's just now walking it through allowing his team to get stacked up and get to the other side before he sends the clear through strange illusion will send it forward able to get away from that full court pressure from boopers but boopers will find it at mid another stun coming through another loose possession a lot of stuns being thrown as his defense tries to retreat back to bubble a pass to nest and this drive will be good as new pro will find two points it's only a two-point game three minutes 50 seconds on this clock his goal times are really extending a minute and 27 seconds for that one but like like i said this is all a new game to you this is all new players and um yeah it's really turning out to be a good first round Definitely is a very close one as well, very even as I mentioned before. B stands now here with the disc just slowing down the play, running down the clock as they do have the lead by just two points. Missing the pass over to Strange Illusion. Sending a clear through but cyanide. Oh just hitting that station block there. Now be being picked up by reverb. Managed to get the sun off cyanide as well. Sending it back out. Just missing the pass. A little bit of miscommunication, but they managed to get the stun off. Reese's Pieces now with the disc walking it through. Gets surprised by Booper's stack. They might actually recover this now and send it through to the orange side. And it will be picked up and slapped down. And we'll ding off the crossbar right off the top. And another clear coming through. Actually a pass to mid, so Crispy will find it. He'll be open going for his own mail slot. That one's going to be off. And Stun's coming through. is trying to find this possession. A slap out towards the wall. X-Ghost will find it. Go for his own clear. A defender of Reverb trying to find that interception at Tube. And that back stack coming through. So getting that stun. Strange Illusion with it now. Going for his own forward pass. Actually, maybe a clear, but his teammate was there. He put a lot of umph into that pass. And that stack coming through. So with possession and the shot will be Reverb. Reese's Pieces finding it at 8 meters. And I believe that is the first three-pointer of the game as well. So far it has been nothing but twos, but now the first three-pointer is in, giving Jasvanj yet again to Boopers, putting them down by five points. So with Joust advantage, now to Boopers. Boopers down by five, and Reverb coming through, finding that snag. Trying to find that pass off the wall, but that slap out from Cyanide will deny that opportunity. So Crispy will pick it up at ceiling, trying to pull out this defense, going for that pass behind goal, and Beast stands getting shut down by Seagull with a beautiful save and that clear through the tube will now start this transitional play. This is loose, but it looks like B Boopers will get there first, going for the shot, just missing the shot. It looks like B-Stands will miss it and it will be picked up by Seagull who just got, drops it as he gets stunned. 
reverb now getting back here with their stacks. Sa Reese's Pizza gets su burned out by Cyanide, who sends it down. Goldie now manages to pick it up and send it through. Cyanide manages to pick it up again, though. Exco is going for the shot, just dinging. And B stands, it's managed to quickly recover that. But Exco is going for another shot and dinging it once again. So we'll bounce off the Geo into the hands of Strange Illusion. Strange Illusion throwing a really short pass to a man covered and an opportunity coming through for Boopers. So they will find that two points right at the ceiling at seven meters. It's not only a three point game, that's one possession. 40 seconds on the clock. If Boopers makes this stop right now, they have more than enough time to find these three points. We've up now, Charles Evans just coming out here. Reese's Pieces will pick up the disc to start off, sending it over to B Stands. B Stands knows this is the three point game, so just wasting some time. Reverb in general just wasting the time, making sure they don't get possession so they don't have the chance to score that three. Crispy now with the long shot, just missing it. But picked up by B Stands, who will score it in for another two pointer. Looking like they'll shut down the first round here. And that will seal the first round in the hands of Reverb. B Stands finding another two points this time. Slam dunking it in. So a, se a second on the clock. That's it. That's it in the first round, and we're gonna kick it to Hex. Yeah, really, really great game overall. It's uh, you can tell that these players have been playing for some time and that they have uh, good experience in the game. I mean, they they take their time. They look around. They they pass, which is really important in this game. Not many new teams do that too often. They they start clearing it and and panic clearing it a lot. Um, so good passing, good positioning overall, and then uh, B stance and new pro basically fighting with each other for. Uh, I'm curious to see what happens in the in the second round and if they can uh, if they can bring it back. Absolutely. So. With Reverb taking this first round, it's up to Boopers to take the second one, force the third one, have a chance at this series, in this matchup. And a lot of good stops in the bubble. Seagull making a great stopping goal. Able to shut down, I believe it was B-Stands. B-Stands hiding behind him by the backboard. So, great defensive plays. A lot of clears coming through. A lot of interceptions at mid and through the tubes. These teams are very evenly matched, and it's a lot of back and forth. Now as we go into the second round here. Countdown begins, and the teams are out. Looks like Boopers will get the first touch here, headbutting the disc into the trench. Beast Stands manages to pick it up, send it through to Strange Illusion. Strange Illusion gets stunned out, and, and he manages to pick it up once again, but a stun comes through from New Pro. But it looks like Reverb is not giving up this disc. They will not let Boopers get any more hands on it as they send the clear through now. And we'll bounce off that Geo. And Sina has his chance in the bubble going off the backboard, finding it at five meters. So a really good shot from Sinai to put Boopers in the lead to start this round off. Nearly 30 seconds off the clock in that goal time. And this is a chance for Boopers to take this second round and maybe force his third round and take this series. Reverb now here with the Joust advantage, picking up by Reese pieces, sending it over to B stands. Similar rollout to what we saw just at the end of the last round. Strange Illusion now walking it through, taking their time. They have plenty of time to take. They are not out of this yet as this round has just died. And it will be a cross pass a little behind its target. Trying to avoid that defense is Crispy. Crispy getting that pass to Bowtie. Reese's piece is going to throw slightly above its target. But Strange Illusion will find it at the floor. Approaching the bubble, setting up to Ness. So B-Stands looking for a driving attempt. Sending behind goal and a nice play from Reverb. And just like that, Reverb ties up the game with a 36 second goal time and a very clean pass and goal there. Strange Illusion managed to juke out the remaining defenders and get it in for the two points. So with Jazz advantage now to Boopers. Boopers sending it to, finding that pass, and, and going for that shot off the ceiling, and picking it up, and being stunned out would be a player from Reverb, so Boopers will send it back out of the bubble, and looking for this opportunity, trying to make a drive towards the goal as Newpro 
And New Pro will ding it right off that crossbar. And trying to recover this disc will be Boopers trying to get that initial stack, but not able to find it. Reverb coming through, taking that long shot. It's going to be off target, bouncing off the nest. This is a chance for Reverb to come back through, and they will find possession, but they're going to lose it. Another clear coming through for Boopers. X Ghost now find the disc here, clearing it just further through as Reverb will stack through, and Reese's Pieces manages to pick up the disc. Sending the pass, or the clear even through, but Seagull manages to pick it up and send the clear through once again. Or pass to X goes, X goes down to New Pro. New Pro goes for a long shot three and managed to hit it at 10 meters. It's now a three point game. New Pro really finding these shots. And I think someone in chat earlier had said it's, this is going to be New Pro versus B stands, and they are the standout players for their respective teams. New Pro able to take their team into the lead on that last possession, so Reese's Pieces to QB for Reverb. Reverb throwing that pass down to Tube into the hands of Strange Illusion. Strange Illusion trying to juke on those cubes, able to successfully do it, but not able to find that follow-up pass, and it will be a transfer of possession. And Reverb shooting past that as they get back to Bubble, and another stun out at mid, so it's a loose disc. As these stuns come through at mid, these players will stun each other both times. And another shot coming through, but that one's going to be off target. X Ghost now finding the disc here, clearing it out for Boopers, but Reese's pieces at the back manages to pick it up. Just a missed pass to Strange Illusion, being, put, being picked up by Seagull, who sends it all the way through this time. Both teams now stacking, racing for this disc. It will be Boopers who gets it first, and just missing the three-point shot. Strange Illusion now picking it up here, doing a bit of juking on the block there, sending it over to B-Stands, who is getting immediately pressured. B-Stands now managed to send it all the way through. Uh, Boop has not been able to pick it up as Reverb's race is through. Crispy now with the disc, sending it below the goal there to B-Stands. B-Stands pass it up to the pillar, and Reese's Pieces goes for the nice shot off of the backboard to give him another two points, putting them down by only one point. So it is back and forth up. Someone saying in chat, just look at the connoisseur vo votes, uh, Psychotic73. Uh, just look at the connoisseur votes uh, on this game. This would be a great upset. So I don't know who the connoisseur votes are actually favoring, but uh, this is a very even match. And I couldn't have, I couldn't figure out who would they would be favoring. B-Stands being a veteran player, he's been around in Echo for a long time. And New Pro being a newer player and finding that long shot off that stun, I won't be on target. So Strange Illusion now with it sending it through mid, but being intercepted. So a lot of these clears just being forfeits in possession, but finding that forward pass along the ceiling, but Reverb able to recover in the bubble and, and cause a turnover and then the steal coming through. So New Pro in a 4v1 situation, able to come away with that steal in the two points. That goal just puts Boopers now in a three point lead. However, Reverb is still in this, as I said, just three points away. Single three points could tie them up. Now with Reber Reverb with just advantage coming out here. Reese's Pieces will take the QB here. Just walking it through, taking his time, not getting pressured. Sending it down to straight to Strange Illusion this time. Who just taking his time. Sending a long pass up, up over to Crispy. Walking it through, sending it back to Strange Illusion. Who will just wait on the block here. Allow his team to get set up before making any unexpected passes. So Strange Illusion will take his time, and Psychotic saying uh, 35 to 4. That's a big differential, and finding that possession will be Ghost, sending it through mid, but you see Reverb able to recover on that triple stack situation. So Strange Illusion now trying to take it out of their backcourt, giving that disc a little bit of a twirl. Not seeing pressure just yet, throwing it into coverage, and the clear will come through, and there will be another change of possession as Seagull at the back line finds possession. Seagull now with a bouncy clear, but Reverb managed to pick up that clear from a player of Boopers. Now sending it all the way down through Seagull, just missing the grab on that. The disc is loose and Reese's Pieces looks to be picking this one up with some pressure on his back. Sending the pass over to Crispy, who's doing some flips going on the roof now here. Sending it over to B-Stands on the nest. nest. B-Stands doing a bit of dancing on the nest, but Seagull manages to come in with that lovely save. So three minutes on the clock in the second round. Three-point advantage to Boopers. 
Reverb wants to take this second round. They want to take this series in a sweep. A loose disc, a long trap. New Pro under pressure is throwing it forward to that upper Geo and X Ghost finishing it off at four meters. So a very nice long distance pass from New Pro to allow for that opportunity to happen in the bubble. It's now a five point lead. This could this could be going to a third round, Ollie. It sure could. It just shows how evenly evenly matched these teams really are. No no team dominating just yet. And it doesn't look like we will see a dominator in this match. B stands now with the disc, just waiting. They still have two just over two minutes, so plenty of time to make the comeback. Strange illusion with the pass down to Crispy on the floor. Crispy over to the pack, man. Reese's Pieces will receive it. Reese's Pieces just backs it out himself, just waiting, allowing his team to get into some better positions. Sending the pass down to Crispy. Crispy sending the pass up to B stands. B stands makes the right decision to send it out to Strange Illusion. And Reese's Pieces with the nice backward shot to bring them back in, within three points of tying this up. The goalie of Booper is expecting that shot from head on. About to jump the shooter as that shot came off the backboard. So that's two points to reverb. So 90 seconds on the clock. They have to capitalize on these defensive stops. Reverb looking to find that possession. A stun will come through near mid. And looking to find it in trap will be Reverb. Under pressure throwing that cross. Another interception to happen near mid. And a clear towards the bubble reverb. Looks like Boopers will be able to pick this up. And oh, a nice, nice save from Reese Pieces. But Nipro managed to pick it up and score yet another two points. A quick turnover there. Ending in a very nice and quick goal from five meters away. Putting Reverb now down by five points yet again. And giving them the just advantage here. So 50 seconds on the clock. We're going to be going into a third round in this Reverb versus Boopers matchup. This is Echo Arena VRML. This is the week two. And that rollout will not be as successful as they hope for, as they will turn it over. X Ghost going for the clear. Not able to find it through the two, but we'll bounce back off the Geo. That will be in the hands of Strange Illusion, making that drive. And it will be outside that bubble off the floor. New Pro now with the clear, just bouncing around a bit in the mid here. As B stands, we'll be able to pick it up, doing some flips, it looked like. Or some juking. Strange Illusion out of the disc here, but it gets stolen by New Pro. And Reverb is out of time here in this second round. So it looks like we will be going into a third round to see who can take this match. And that shot will be off target. And with that, I'm going to kick it back to Hex. He can share with us some of the stats. Yeah, what what a game, what a game. You could easily tell that, that both teams have warmed up a bit from the first game and adapted to each other's play style. And um, Poopers just completely capitalized on that this round. They they knew what they were doing. They they did some amazing pass work. They, did, they had great positioning this round. Um, even though they had a, a, a lot of panic clears uh, still uh, without stacks ready or a person to, to clear it to, they still took the win. They uh, took advantage of uh, the, the small mistakes and perhaps miscommunications that uh, Reverb was having. But um, this uh, this was a very interesting match, and I gotta give a shout out to New Pro for 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 getting the team to the uh, to the points that they had in this game. So tell me about those stats. Yeah, it's um, it's really it's, it's those are really good stats. B stands with uh, eight points and uh, a strange illusion with five saves. Then we have New Pro with eleven points in total uh, and with three saves as well, which are really good. Reese is also with seven points. It's it's really great at what they're doing. Absolutely, and with that, we're gonna be in a third round, Ollie. And thank you, Hex, for the sideline analysis. But no problem. This will be a great third round this is the first matchup of this block of casts we have today nolly joining me and hex joining me for the first one i don't know if he's going to be on the next few but i'm glad to have everyone on board and of course lands it on camera and sphinx doing the match coordination so new pro now with it sending it forward into the hands of cyanide cyanide looking for an opportunity not able to find that pass it will bounce out of the bubble and will be picked up by reverb so reverb looking to continue their 
well, Booper's looking to continue their streak. Reverb looking to rob them of the momentum. But, you know, this is still anyone's game, and this is the start of the third round. It definitely is still anybody's game, as we saw. Not too big of leads, but definitely an even match, both with similar leads in either round. Strange Illusion now here with the steal. Du duking around on that Pac-Man block there. Sending back to B stands. B stands. Gets the stun. Gets stunned even for, by X Ghost, who tries to find the clear. Still gets caught in the mid. And Strange Illusion gets stunned out by X Ghost. X Ghost, who managed to pick it up. Crispy then, just missing the stun, but eventually get, getting that disc back for reverb. B stands now with the disc sitting at the back here, sending it over to someone at the tunnel, but just missing that pass. Now scramble, now Strange Illusion back to B-Stands once again. Playing this very patiently, not trying to push it forward too hard. They're, as they have plenty of time and can definitely take this round free. And with that clear through the tubes, we'll bounce off the post. This is an opportunity for Boopers finding possession. At the wall will be New Pro with that nice pass and that cross and X Ghost with a little bit of flourish. Finding that two at five meters. Those are the first two points of this third round. Nearly 90 seconds, almost over 90 seconds off the clock on that goal time. This is really changing uh, the flow of this game. It, uh, 90 seconds, uh, before it was like 13 seconds in the second round and 30 seconds in the first round. So these teams are really starting to learn each other and finding ways to counter one another. Teams definitely are warming up to each other, realizing they can play it slower. They don't have to go super fast, realizing that they will be able to score some goals by just playing it slower rather than faster. X Ghost now here, walking it through, but Reese's Pieces comes in with a beautiful save. Now sending it the clear through, going all the way through, but it looks like Boopers will be able to just miss the disc actually, and Crispy will be able to pick it up for Reverb. Doing a bit of juke and sending it over to the nest and just dinging that two point shot, unlucky. But it will be picked up by Boopers who will send it through to the tunnel. Beast has managed to pick it up again, sends the pass over to Strange Illusion. Strange Illusion just walking up here now looking, oh, and a nice save comes through by Seagull. But Beast has picked it up again and has it back to Strange Illusion and Strange Illusion with the goal, tying up the game here now 2-2. Two to two. And with that, it's going to be a tie game and, you know, maybe maybe this could go into overtime. I know it's only 6 minutes, 50 seconds off the clock, but this is so evenly matched. These teams are stopping each other in the bubble. They're learning how each one is playing. And with this rollout, it will be a clear through two towards the backline player and help be under pressure, get rid of it towards Crispy. Crispy will throw that interception at mid, so you can see them countering one another at mid, closing each other's passing lanes, finding interceptions, and that shot will be off target, bounce towards the floor, and this is another opportunity for Reaver, but they're going to throw it off the Geo. That one will be through the tube. Now it's up to the stacks to find possession. Seagull managed to pick up the disc back up here, sending a bouncy clear through, but Cyanide does pick it up, sending another clear through. Reaver will race back, and Strange Legion will manage to pick it up for Reaver. Now just taking their time, they are tied up, but Cyanide managed to pick up the disc, looks like he was hiding behind the bow tie. X Ghost now chasing the disc, hopefully picking it up for Reaver, but Seagull managed to get there in time before Reaver gets their stacks. Now just waiting here at the tunnel, allowing his team to get positioned. And now the pass up to the X Ghost. X Ghost sending the pass down to New Pro. New Pro just jumping up there to the nest. Finding that shot, that two point shot at six meters, putting them up by a two point lead now. And that will be two points, so back and forth. And I know uh, I've definitely said even way too many times Mike Ward draws coming through saying uh, 15th time is a charm. And this will be Joust's advantage now to Reverb. They're down by two. They started off this series with the win by, uh, I think, a point differential of five. And that's been the biggest one I think we've seen so far. So Crispy getting stunned out. And that clear coming through from Boopers. Boopers looking to find their stacks. They've got a triple stack. Both teams really vying for it in that bubble. Trying to get out of the way of this full court pressures B stance. He will avoid that defender. Get that clear through mid. And it will be another chase for possession. Teagle now with the clear through. And it will be picked up by Boopers who just smacked it back into the orange side. Strange illusion now. Be able to pick it up here. 
as he walks it through, sends over the pass, a very long pass, or it looks like it may have been even a clear coming through, but Seagull just missing the grab there, the disc is loose, and Reverb will stack in, but just missing the grab, and Boopers managed to get the grab, and clear it through to the orange side, right next to the orange goal into the orange bubble, now Boopers will here pick it up here once again, only the one of the gold, but just missing the shot, disc is loose, and it will be Crispy picking up the disc, just dropping it unlucky, but Beastans managed to pick it up, just sending a bouncy clear through, but goes through either way. Seagull now picks it up, getting pressured by Strange Illusion, but gets a clear out, and it is back into the orange side. Reverb definitely cannot keep the disc in the blue side for long. Now blue with the stone on Beastans and going for the shot, just missing that lovely three-point shot, and now we'll be bouncing back. Strange Illusion will pick it up. And just walking through, getting pressured by but Booper's stack. Exos managed to steal it and send it through, attempting a shot off the bottom, just missing it. He stands now with disc, trying to get that clear through, but it gets stolen by the blue. Stun coming through, and he will retain possession of the disc. Sending it back to Reese's Pieces now, who will send the pass over to Strange Illusion, just missing the pass. But Strange Illusion will be able to pick it up and just dance around on the floor now. He's sending it back to Crispy. And Reverb is down by two. B stands really playing dangerously, keeping that in the bubble a few seconds ago. They've got to find a clear and get down there and get possession. But their triple stack is shut down at mid as they roll out towards the goal. Reverb looking for an opportunity. Strange illusion now with it. And these teams are really just clearing and, and not running cohesive offenses. And it's just really stopping a stack and finding another stack to stop. So another pass coming through off the ceiling. And Crispy just trying to avoid that defender, but they'll get a grab and get a stun through. But possession will change back into the hands of Reverb. And Crispy now with it again, sending that pass to the upper Geo and to the shield. And that shot will come through from these stands tied up. These stands have a lovely two-pointer. Adding some juking onto there, as you can see his hand movement. But now tying up the game with just a little over two minutes left on the clock. It is still anybody's game here in this third round. Joust advantage now to Boopers. Boopers will send that one through the tube into the hands of Reese's Pieces. So another transfer in possession. They're not able to execute on their passing plays. A lot of clear and boost coming through. And a flurry of activity in the mid. Another clear coming through. So we'll go in the hands of Seagull. Seagull at the back line. Sending that forward pass. It's going to bounce off the Geo. And New Pro going for what looked like another clear, but Reese's Pieces at the back line to shut down that angle. And this is another attempt coming through. And the goalie's right there to find it. So Seagull making that stop and sending it through Trench. Reverb will now stack here and Strange Illusion will be able to pick up the disc. Sending it, trying to send the clear through, but Cyanide will be able to will be there to pick it up. Send the pass over to New Pro. Back to X Ghost and X Ghost with the two pointer putting them into a lead, making this match 6 4 to Boopers. And putting Reverb with the Joust advantage now. So 50 seconds on the clock. Only a two point advantage, only one possession. And I said earlier, maybe we'll see an overtime. And, you know, this is highly probable. I don't want to say I was right. Although I love saying I was right, this is an incredibly high chance of seeing an overtime in this third round. And a shot coming through. That one's going to ding off the crossbar. And a clear attempt coming through. So, Boopers will have this two-point lead. 20 seconds on the clock. They can pull this off, Ollie. They sure can. Their stacks have seemed to be very fast, so if they manage to get a nice clear through, followed by a stack, they can definitely tie this up. Reese's Piece is now with the clear, the bouncy clear. New Pro will hit off the head. X, X Ghost, that was sending it back, but Reese's Piece has managed to pick it up. Now if they get a quick stack, they could get it, but the goalie managed to pick it up and just teasing them a bit, holding it by next to the goal, as Boopers will take this third round and the match. And to finish this off, we're going to go to Ollie with the sideline analysis. Hey guys, um, what a what a comeback from Boopers. I mean, they 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 played really well. 
they uh, they got their stuff together and they they showed they showed reverb what they're made of. Um, it is. It, it looked like uh, reverb had a bit of miscommunications here and there with with people who were on them, and which is fine. Um, they both played really well. The teams. I mean, uh, if you look at the stats as well, B stands with the 10 points that he has. Strange Illusion with eight saves, which is which is a high save count. Reese is with with seven goals, assisting B stands in their team. But then you have New Pro with 13 points. He was out for blood this these games. It was absolutely great to see this. Um, some shots were risky, but it paid out in the end. Um, and X goes there to assist him with his eight points, and Seagull also with six saves. It's, it was great to see, and I can't wait uh, to see these teams again in VRML. Absolutely. So, with that, this will be the end of the first match of this block. We may be moving to VRML Channel 2. We're going to take a moment to take a break, and if the intermission ends and the stream ends, that means we have gone to VRML Channel 2. But I've been Sputnik Cobra. That's been It's Me, Ollie. Hex on the sideline analysis. Lanzan on cameras. And Sphinx as the match coordinator. So we thank you and stay tuned. <laughs>